So uh, today we're going to talk about um, chi sao on the center line, and we're also going to make a tape from this. So it's pretty lucky. <clears throat> we have the good fortune of having Grandmaster Moyat Masipu here, who is uh, the top in his field of kung fu. I also have with me my Kung Fu brothers from New York, um, Kevin Martin, my Siheng, the Sifu in um, New York also. My Kung Fu brother William, William Moy, is uh, my Sifu's son. And also my Kung Fu brother Joe, and my younger brothers come along. And we're all from the SSA, which is my teacher's special student association. We are um, disciples of Grandmaster Moya. So to become a Sifu, you have to be a special student, and it's to be a disciple. In other words, uh, don't ever learn from anybody unless they themselves are a disciple. And don't become a Sifu unless you yourself are a disciple. It's just not fair to students. If you're ever going to be a Sifu, you better make sure you know what you're doing. And make sure that your connections are in line or your ducks in a row, so to speak. Or else your students will suffer. So, when we have an opportunity to have my teacher here, you should come out fully supported. Not just because, you know, it's an opportunity to do something, a videotape or whatever, but really to plug into the, the Kung Fu, which is what my sequel is. The Kung Fu. And we do our best to represent him and to represent the Wing Chun system and just spread the martial arts as much as possible. That is, spreading the martial arts done the correct way. Yeah. So, without any uh, further ado, my teacher. As I mentioned before, we only need Chi Sao and the center line in the family, I mean, Wing Chun family. So there's nothing to do with fighting because Chi Sao is an exercise to let you to practice 
how the hand go on the center line to protect your body. Nothing to do with fighting. Okay? So what I'm trying to say today is center line with fin chi purpose. Not center line for uh, something else because center line could be something else. How are we going to decide where is the center? This is the human body. <coughs> this part from the shoulder down to the joint here. This is the body. The middle of the body, we call it center. And from the center here, let's say this line here, half to the left hand shoulder, half from the right hand shoulder. This is the center line too. So in other words, we have a center line from the head all the way down here. And we also have a center line stick out from the middle of the body here. This center line here could be higher, could be lower. Let's say this guy little bit lower, smaller. So his center line suppose lower. And this center line here and this guy the body is kind of soft. So this center line you could call this um, high center line. Uh, this is like everybody have the same center line. Same one here. This one everybody have the same because this is a uh, let's say A and here's B. Everybody have the same. So this center line here. But this center line stick out the center line. If I'm tall, might be here. You, you shorter, maybe a little bit lower. So that's why when we do chi out, the tall one have to bend a little bit. The hand to drop down a little bit because the center line not using his center line or not using. This one center line got to be in between. If his center line will be here, this guy, let's say this guy is a red <coughs> A, red A, shorter. So his center line is here. This blue B center line here. So if happen blue B chi sao with blue with uh, red A, so blue B have to put the hand <coughs> put them into here and. This A have to go here too. So they have uh, a center line for both. B and A. They both use this center line. If these two person cheese out together, they have to use this center line. You cannot use his original center line and or use this guy's center line have the in between so that's why tall guy got to be bent down or have the horse a little bit low to get the center line in between of my center line and the shorter guy's center line so that's why or this shorter fellow have 
they need a narrow horse to make his center line a little bit higher to match the partner. Otherwise, you cannot do chi sum because a uh, uh, guy's hands here and the other guy's hand is here. Then not not chi sao. Chi sao is sticking hand. Suppose both hands together. If one hand up here, one hand up here, and you still call chi sao, this is not chi sao. These two hands are apart. So you have to bring two hands together. Center line. If you are on the center line, then <coughs> it means you blocking, I gotta give you a, a name for this center line. I mean, A and B center line. And this is a center line, let's say. This center line. Okay. This center line, that's what we're fighting for. Because this center line, you don't have to fight. You have it automatically, this center line. Everyone has it. So this center line have to face the other guy's center line. Okay? I mean, A, B center line. A, B center line. Each person has it already. So you have to, let's say, A, B center line face A, B center line. But now we talk about center line, the body center line. Now we discuss the body center line. That's what we've been talking about here. Using the shorter one center line or use the taller one. Both no good. You have to use a center line in between. So if happen a tall fellow cheese out with a short one, and the center line not belong to either one in between. So that's why very difficult for you to adjust in the right position, your hands in the right position. Because I have to put it like like if stand that one, look. I put my center line here. This is my center line. But happen I have cheese out with a shorter guy. I have to drop a little bit. So, my center one will be here. Center line here. This is my center. This is my my center one. So whenever I do here, okay, here, okay, I am in the center line. But happen I have to drop a little bit. So I have to do it like like this. This is a. Uh, they're not that easy to put it accurately there. Sometimes a little bit too much and sometimes a little bit too low. Because this is like not my standard one. If my standard one from here, just go. This is my standard one. But I have to go like this or I go away. Go away. Have to come back, not the standard one. If come back the standard one, easy. That's a, sometimes I go away from center line and I go back to the center line, see, very easy. Go back to the center one. But after go away, I have to come back to to someone, I mean, some center line, <coughs> not, the cent not the center one. That is very difficult. The other person has the same problem. Whenever he go away, he come back, not the standard one. If you come back to the standard one, okay, but you have to come back like lower or a little bit higher that you need a lot of Kung Fu. Now, after you could adjust your center line, which is not belong to you, almost like everybody cheats up with their partner. Unless you measure same height, then you will have the same, same level of center line. Otherwise, you have to adjust a little bit lower, the other one has to be a little bit higher to make it in between. So, after you have no problem, 
I mean, you need a lot of qi sao to do it. Now, talk about fighting the center line. This center line is the body center line. Is this center line? Let's say A, B. This center line is the, the body center line. Now, if you have the body center line, it means you could get into someone's boundary. Because if this is a, a human body, so this is a 180. So you had here, this is the area you have to protect. If you had reach here, so this is the area you're supposed to protect in you. This is the area. This is the area you protect. So we have a center line here. If you hand occupy the center line, <coughs> like this whole area, nothing could come in. Plus you have two hands, but only one. See, this is the area you're supposed to, to block. But you have your center line, I mean your hand on the center line. And the other one on the center line, both on the center line. Like you feel this area. Your area is supposed to protect this. And you occupy occupy the center line. It means you occupy this whole area. No hands or techniques could come into your boundary. So if both Wing Chun guy both have the same area to protect with. They both have the same area to protect. The blue one has to protect this area. The red one also has to protect his area. So the blue one, it put the hand on the center line, and this red one put on the center line. Since the most important organ is line up here, So the whole body is blocking. But you cannot for always like, like, like this, the other guy like that, occupy the, the center line and both stand there like a fool. Then uh, make no sense. Oh, that's the way how I protect myself, you know, so always like this. And the other guy do the same, so stand there. We have to move. So make some difference. We check the skill, we check the sensitive. If I move away, see how much you could do. If I move away, you don't know what to do, you are still there. So I move away, change the different angle and get into you. But since we have some uh, loose, last out chunk, means the hand off, my hand goes straight. So both hands there, if one of them lose, the other one both. Both hands are both uh, occupy half of the center line. If one drop, the other one go and get him. Because he go away from the center line. Go away, go away from the center line means the old man is gone. So the other one come in there. Otherwise, you occupy half, and the other guy occupy half and can't go in. Can't go in. No way. You cannot go into there. But one of them, either lose, go. Up, go. Too low, go. See? So, each person have to, suppose, occupy line number one here. 
this red thing is the center line. So suppose you occupy both hands inside the center line, like half half. Of course, this is impossible. Maybe you tease out for uh, an hour, half and once. Both have half of the center line, half of the center line. Very difficult to be this way. So always, sometimes, this guy, let's say, A. A guy on the top of the center line. So B. Where's B? B is outside the center line on the top. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. If A on the center line top already. So no room for B go into the center line. Go inside. If the center line like this big. So the, the A occupy the top and on the top. Just on the top. On the surface on his hand. On his hand outside the center line. Do you agree? Yeah. So, if here, off the center line, I mean outside the center line, so A could go into B, right? But whenever it going on halfway, maybe the B <coughs> use some energy, make his head into the center line also, then A cannot do the technique. So A have to change into another technique. That's why during Tisa we have we come up, we create so many different techniques. Sometimes A kind of slow. He occupy the center line and B from the top, suppose all the center line but go into the center line and make place <coughs> off the center line. Then go into A. It happened a lot. So this is like why sometimes you on the top like Fu Chao and go away. We call indoor. Go into let's say if I I play B on the top of the center line. But let's say this A uh, Kung Fu not that good. He occupy some center line though, but my hand better. So I go in the bottom and go in the center line, get into <coughs> A. And this is very easy to bounce A's hand off the center line because it is almost off the center line. Just occupy a little bit. So far I go. Then you say, wow, this this kind of kung fu that's kind of like difficult. How could I tell his hand is on the top of the center line? So that needs a lot of experience, which I can teach you. But the theory is like this. Okay? So now here, if my hand on this bottom of the center line. So your hand is off the center line underneath. If the center line is like this, mine is on the bottom, just in, in the, at the bottom. So you is under mine. So you is off, but not on top, on uh, in the bottom. Do you agree with this? Okay. So, but if I'm uh, kind of slow, I occupy the bottom of the center line, and the other guy even lower off, but he come up, get into the center line. Then very easy to press down my hand off the center line, like opposite of this. Do you agree? No questions? Okay. So that is how we fighting for the center line. Okay, now today I will have something very interesting thing for you guys to do. Uh, anyone want to come up like volunteer to 
to check this, so you could tell like, oh, he using a, I mean he one, he using two, or this guy using three. So come up here to do some to prove how the five for the center line. Anyone want to come up? <coughs> come on, Charles, Steve. Come on. Okay. Come on. Now you do down chi sao. You with uh, yeah okay with this okay now. Uh, so from uh, this section you could tell <coughs> who's taller. Steve, right? Really you are. He's got more hair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the hands. He's uh, taller. Now, you have to be like. Okay, now it's even. Okay, now even. This center line. If this center line is something wrong, they occupy half and half, right? I mean, talk about this level. Half, half. See? So if the white one, let's say white and black, okay, so uh, the white one, go down a little bit. So he occupied most of the center line. He almost off the center line by, by the bottom. You agree? Okay. The other way, black one up, the white one almost off the center line. See? Let's say like, like, like this. So if the center line like this, so the black one occupy the top of the center line, and the white ones are all, right? Okay. In this case, if the black one go, go. Yeah, just straight. Up. So easy, very easy to go in because nothing in his way, nothing in the black way. Okay. So the white ones are out. Okay now. If now. Before anything happened, both even occupy half of the center line. Either one try to go in. Let's say uh, stop if uh, black one first. You go in. See block because you only have half way. You cannot go through. You do the same. You go in block because you have half way. See so. We have some tricks. Let's say if you want to go, then you turn your hand. By turning your hand, you, you bounce his an hour center line. Look. Suppose like this. But I want to turn my hand into this and go. So I have to like move out a little bit. I mean, I do it on purpose so you could see. I move it out a little bit so the white hand will out. Wow. <coughs> then I change. So now his hand is absolutely out. My hand could go. You understand this? So now, when the black hand go out that direction and change. Change into go, change, change. Now go. And he got it. Because the the center line he occupied all. The white hand off the center line. Okay? Now. The white hand wanna go in. Now the half and half. And and uh, even. Okay? So you wanna go, they have a trick, I say. Um I understand. Have a trick. Hold on like this. Hold on like this. I have to like hold my fist and go. Instead of just go like this, there's no use. You know, I have to change it into a punch. Okay? So now, when i holding my fist like this, then go. Still even. Still even. Go. But when i holding my fist, Which one? Which one is uh, he does? Number two or number three? See? Two. 
to not. You're wrong. Neither to nor free. Because this talk about down and up. Now what he does is this side and go. And he, what he does, what the white hand wonder to do, which one? Let's say stop it, be even now. The white one wanna go. What? Number three, right? Because he pressed down, make make his hand, make the black hand line underneath of the center line. So underneath of the center line, number three. If he want to do something, if he want to attack him, have to use this method. Down, so he out of the center line. You go. Okay. So you down and go. Okay. And if he want to use the center line. Neither these two, because sideways. Go here and turn. And go. <laughs> so neither this one. You understand? But uh, I didn't have a diagram for the sideways. Only uh, higher and low. But suppose have a diagram line, bounce the the hand off to the side, and you occupy the whole center line, then go. Okay, now. That's why... That's why... Which is how looks to the outside. The oh, always a uh, uh, lowing hand there. What good about, you know? See, there is uh, what we've been doing here have a center line here to fight to occupy the center line so we could uh, like let's say bounce his away then you occupy the whole center line then go and you could press him down the center line so he's off the center line and you go so that is why we we need the uh, i mean the chisa program fight for the center line so both have a center line here, A, B, A, B, center line here, both. Center line, like facing the center line. Then sometimes if you make his center line this way, go. Sometimes if you make this center line down, then go. So all this, but this is not enough because single hand chi out just train us very, very few techniques to protect the center line. Since we have two hands, why not we use another hand to protect the center line instead of always like one hand occupy the center line. <coughs> it's not strong enough, so we put two hands there. Since we put two hands on the center line, make it very strong to protect. You put two hands, oh, I put two hands too. So now, you put two hands. Okay, now. now Two hands, you have two, he has two, four hands to fight for the center line. Okay, uh, this will have a lot of trick there. Okay, so the center line could be this big. The center line could be uh, two center lines, let's say. One for, one for the black one, maybe center line here. And here also have he occupy most or less. And then now the center line, like so two center line. This is center line. Four arms here.
the blue might fight for <coughs> side to side. Fight like I, I bounce your hand to the left. But the white one, the red one, let's say, might be try to press his hand away from bottom. This part you guys understand? So this is both on the center line from the top looking down. Both on the center line. I mean four hands on the center line. Black hands on the center line, white hands on the center line. Yeah. But inside this center line, this <coughs> this hand, the black one may be pressed down a little bit to occupy the center line. So his his hand is off the center line on the bottom. And this one here, he might, I mean the black one again, might be bounced away from the right. So occupy the whole center and the right hand off from the right. So the black one could go in. You guys agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. And sometimes <coughs> the why <coughs> occupy the center line on the top, but in the bottom here he lose. So that's the event. You want to do something, you must occupy two of the center line, two hand center line. You occupy together, then you could do something. You agree? Otherwise, you do here and and then the bottom got attack. So make no sense. So if I attack you the top hand, you attack me from the bottom. That's a break even. No good. If it happen like this, you rather don't do anything. Then change your position. I mean lowering your hand, lowering your hand. If you feel tired, lowering your hand. That's lowering hand. Change the position. Yeah, then you you low, I mean you change the position. You might have a better position for certain <coughs> center line, I mean for the top one or for the bottom one. Someone, they are specialists, get the top one, always occupy the center line. And the bottom one by chance, sometimes occupy, sometimes not occupy. But soon, <coughs> soon the bottom one occupy the center line and the top one go. And someone, specialists, always occupy the bottom one, and when even the top one have chance to occupy, then go. This part you understand? Sounds like impossible, but it happened that way. Okay? Some guy all the time off the center line, both up and down. Two center lines, always off. So he always kept it up. All the hands coming. That's why. Okay? So Today, I would like you guys come up here, another person come up here. Don't feel bad if you do something wrong. You say, no, I mean, not a shame because uh, you are a student, you want to learn. So by the way, everybody here learn. So, uh, JT. Oh, come on. <coughs> okay, so now, you. Uh, Okay, I want it uh, one by one, okay? One by one. No, 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 you, you, you stand over there. Stand over there. Okay, now. You do some simple technique, such as, uh, looks out like this, punch, and change hand, do this, and do that. And then, I want him explain uh, how uh, his hand go in to you, like bounce the hand off this way or that way or this way or this way to get in, uh, but this one off the center line. So no good, see? See how much that could kill us, okay? So you just do some technique uh, slowly.
If you could see some, you stop them right away and tell us why he got him or why he got him. Okay? I just don't believe they both occupy equally so many times. <laughs> Surprise me, they're doing so good, always even, so can do nothing. So, okay, so you, you tell. See, Charles So, uh, his uh, hand uh, off the center line from the top or from the left or from the right, you have to tell. So it means that off the center line on the top off. Okay. So uh, let's say if this is a. If this is center line, so could be uh, off here, could be uh, off here, could be off here, and off here. Here is uh, off. This is uh, down. This is uh, left. This is right. Okay, now you tell uh, his hand uh, off from where? Oh, from up. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep doing. And uh, show us some techniques. Okay, so you, you tell how is off and down the concept. He have two he have two center line though. Which one uh, doing what? You have to tell both both center line. Steve's uh hooks out, push the concept down. Mm -hmm. And then how about the top one? You have to notice uh, both her hand, yeah. For example. Let me do it, uh, see, for example, like this, okay, and, uh, get out the way, Steve. Then, uh, down, his hand down, here, but this one, I, I, I'm on the center line, but put this way, no? See, and can I do something? Sure. Then, uh, I'm too cute, though, see? All of this, no good. I got to be my on the center line. He have half, I have half, even here. But this one here, I go. Or this one, my left got half of the center line. So I'm safe, even, okay? And here, the right one got half. But I bounce his hand off. And this one still got half here. So, this is the right manner to do this out, to use techniques. Not like this one not like this, you know, and this one. Yeah, yeah I got him though, because I, I bounce out and do it. But this hand like this, no good. Suppose, in my hand like this, but this moment, he do something already. Because he have and have. He is even. Down he is even. I do something like this. That moment, you have a chance, you have to do something. I'm off, you know? One hand off. So you have to behave both hands. One even. The other one, this one even, and this one could do something. This one bounce away and go. Or down, go. This way, go. But by that moment, when I'm doing that, and his hand change, he's not letting you do whatever you want to do. You know? So, they create a lot of uh, techniques. Okay? So, got to be one hand do it even, and the other hand occupy the whole center line in that condition. You could do something. Otherwise, Lowing hand, look for chance. Sometimes, when you change your hand, for example, let's say uh, my outdoor hand change into indoor. This is outdoor. 
this is indoor. When I change my hand, indoor, then bounce his hand off. And this one up here, even, then I go. By changing your hand to get the chance, this one here, I didn't change my hand, but I make the change right there. His hands are off. And what else you guys see? This, my right hand here. How about my left hand, look? What do you see? Well, you pushed him out of the front of the center line. How about my hand? Also off the center line, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This one even, but this one, he sent off the center line far away, but my hand off the center line also. And I could do something. Is it right? No. Wrong. So, even my hand off center line, he sent off center line also, not allowed to do anything. Why? Because we don't want you to waste too much space, too much distance, then cause you walk longer way. Your hand, we don't like it. That's not Wing Chun style. Wing Chun style, you need the most less, I mean, uh, uh, for minimum <coughs> distance, you could do it. That is Wing Chun style. Look, my right hand even. This hand, little bit down, I still in the center line. And his hand is off the center line already. Just off. My hand, let's say, on the center line's bottom. So his hand is off. Then I go. This part, you understand? Mm -hmm. So, you guys, from now on, don't cheese out. Make sure uh, the right hand even. The left hand even change this one even this one even there is the right man to do this out nothing like this <laughs> <laughs> there's no cheese out but you see a lot don't laugh you might cheese out that way <laughs> see a lot of guys cheese out this way that way you know they don't know what the hell is <laughs> they never dream about. Now you understand what is center line, right? How you like it? You enjoy it? So this center line put into Chisau, look this way. Okay? So now uh, you do something. You do something. So let everyone sit in your hands. Okay now. <laughs> I mean, look up. Come on, look up. So you guys uh, slowly look up. So you guys observe who's uh, occupy most of the center line. Who always pass the, the hand down or uh, put it to the left, put it to the right. Uh, try to fight for the center line. Uh, who's uh, more reasonable? Who is uh, kind of slow? You could tell. Uh, feel free to, to do whatever and now because uh, you guys are kind of nervous maybe so uh, feel free to do uh, your style use your style and do it Sometimes uh, <coughs> not that easy to have like equal position. I mean, reasonable one. This pair 
one corner, one sauna, even more difficult. See? So, and if you always find someone same height to practice, kind of difficult. And one is a big arm, one is skinny, that also can't. Because um, I have a big one line, I occupy, occupy the whole center line, you skinny like you occupy, occupy a little bit. Then you understand if a center line is this big. If you are arm big, like you occupy the whole thing. But if you skinny, you occupy a little bit. So, what are you going to do? Oh, train have more energy? No. You have to respect the partner's hand. For example, you are the biggest one. See, my skinny, yeah? Look. See, compare with uh, his, uh, so, big, okay? So, uh, if, let's say, I put my, my hand here, you put your hand out. See? His hand is off the center line already, because I occupy center line, see? I prove I'm right, see? And, uh, okay, again, I put my hand here, you go. See, also, I could uh, hit him because I'm on the center line. He's not. So you have to do like this and make my hand off center line, okay? So I put my hand here on my center line. See, I still hit you. <laughs> so you have to occupy the center line, you hear me? Okay. My hand. Okay. Then I cannot do nothing. And he gonna do something to me because he occupies center line. I'm off. Come on, do something. See? So, he occupied the center line, he could do something. I'm all the center line, I cannot do nothing, okay? So, but since <coughs> my hand is on my center line, come on. You make my hand go, okay? Mm -hmm. My hand is on my center line and stand up, oh. See? There's no respect. Because, chi sao or practice like cooperate both him and myself got to be like I hey, let you do this let me do that like be fair instead of you on the center line so what because I'm strong I make your hand away see so if you happen that you're very strong then you always uh, occupy the center line for no reason I mean I won't occupy center line now, I don't care or lose you know, you in the center line already, I don't care, but I bounce it away. That's not chi that's fighting. You know, because I have power, so I do whatever I like to do. See, so my hand here on my center line. See, and he didn't push my hand away, so, but he just make it like even, then I cannot do nothing. Because he also put his hand on his center line. This is the right man, very good. Suppose this way, yes? I have a question on that. Um, how do you know who goes first to the center line? Is it is it by, if you're a younger, a younger brother or sister would allow the older brother or sister to put their hand on the center line first? What, does, I understand which is the respect, but how do you know who goes there first? Okay. This is not abstract. Very easy to tell who's right, who's wrong. Like you say, from a si dai, from si heng, a guy never practiced sloppy hands. Uh, very easy to tell who always occupy, who not occupy. So, that's by the feeling. You feel it. Because uh, you stand here and you hand down, and if you feeling uh, some energy going this direction. You feel it by feeling, okay? By not by watching or not by arrange. Actually, it's a very good question. If someone sees out, look, uh, I got to let you occupy most of the time, okay? You occupy the center line, you occupy the uh, top, uh, bottom, this, uh, that, that's not being changed. So you need a lot of practice. You need a lot of uh, sensitive, you need a lot of experience to tell 
uh, like who occupy the center line. That's why you need the motion by lowering hand. Look out, change the position, then you feel, you feel, you feel, oh, he, he not in the center line, then you hand go. You don't have to, to wait until the brain like give order. You feel it, like I said, the hand go this way, then you know. Or the hand go this way, or the hand go this way, you feel it, you know. And how you feel it, then you have to learn it by uh, a lot of qi sao. Uh, start with uh, the basic kung fu, step by step. Okay? Uh, you get your answer? Yes, thank you. Okay. So, um, now, talk about respect someone's hands. Uh, by the way, I tell you a story. Iman was this small size. And whenever he cheats out with a big guy, the big guy get in trouble. I have to do this way. See? So small. And his hand always in the center line. Because he been playing Kung Fu for so long and he always like, like play that his hands are okay. Like this, and then change like this. Okay. Because he is small, we have to do times like this. If he do times like this, he <coughs> never touch your hand. So his hands are like this, like this. Always like that. Then he always on the center line. Then you lower your body down and, and try to. Always outside the center line, fly a little bit, and then you give up. After one, two, three, four. Okay. You don't want to sit up with him. Because he always occupies the center line. You respect his arm. Then you say, you're so big. You just punch his hand away. No, you're not supposed to. That's what I mean. So you put out the hand here. And I put my hand here. Okay? So, that moment. I mean, I use one hand to show you. Look, again. Now it's even. Put your hand up. So this is not even. I got him. See? So this is just one hand example. But two hands, you might difficult to see. Okay? So two hands, I feel this hand is kind of loose. And these hands are okay. What I'm gonna do? After next change, no change, because this hand loose uh, on the top, loose. I cannot do nothing because with two hands, only one hand you could attack. We don't have much techniques. Use two hands to attack. We do, but not too many. Many, most of them. Got to be one. Blocking, like make sure it's okay, protecting yourself, protecting the center line, and the other one I can't. She saw most of them like that. But sometimes we do have two hands to go together. Okay, so now if I have a feeling, the top one, he kind of loose. Loose is off center line. Let's say if he go, suppose like here, like this, here, is even. But he lose, it means like all of the center line, if the center line could be this way. So, away from the center line. <coughs> then it means like he's off center line. If he lose, no matter this way, then we four directions. Away from the center line, from any direction. It means like his hands are off center line, let's say. Now, if I feel his, I mean the upper center line, like they have two center lines. The upper one, I feel loose. It means either he off the center line or almost off the center line. Look, then I come down. Come down. Then I, this time, the lower center line, before it's on the top. Then I change it into lower center line. And I occupy the center line by that moment. Then I do something. So, look. Now the top one is loose. I change it into lower one, then I go. That's why always, always like it change the boom. See, that is what it means. You guys understand? So chi sao, you feel it. 
uh, they, they won't lose, then change it into different position. You have change, you do some. Or uh, you do some, if the low one won, you lose. Then I go right away. I don't have to wait until change position. So you understand this function? Okay. So, um, okay, uh, you guys have been here for so long. Uh, go back. Jason and Eugene. Robert. It happened. Okay, so now, you have uh, uh, two times uh, two. Do you know yeah, how to do it? Okay, but change the hand. You took both. Change the hand. So look so change the hand. From indoor, change the into outdoor. Okay, change, change, uh, you, you don't know how to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Change the hand. From outdoor. Change into indoor. So uh, if they have two center line, one on the top, one on the bottom, two center line on the center. So one of them change. Sometimes on the top one. You want to change. Sometimes the bottom one they want to change. So that moment, if change it means like one of the hand get off, right? So we have the same. Last out the two. If the hand off, then the hand goes straight. So let's say. Uh, okay, you could stop. Let's say if this hand go away, go away. And you are you supposed to stay, I'm not telling you to go over, you have to obey me. Uh, you go over. <laughs> go over, not that far, just a little bit, then go over. So you have to go straight. Okay? So you occupy half a center line. And you feel no hand there. Like with common sense, the center line is open, empty. Is it right? Yeah. You agree? Let's say you occupy half, because half is blocking, but you feel like empty. The center line empty, so you could go, right? So you boom, go. That's why, last out the if you feel loose, you could go. Forget about, uh, you don't feel nothing there. You don't feel his hands around, then the center line is empty, so you can go. And if loose, you could go. Loose. You, but you still touching, but loose, you could go. Maybe go halfway. The other hand come back to the center line. So you cannot do nothing. And block there. That's why. Okay? So if the hand go away, empty and go. But sometimes the hand off and his hand still there. Don't know what to do because he's sensitive, not that good. So he cannot go, he, he don't know uh, to go. Stay there, okay? So that means, like he against, he's not good enough to cheese out with uh, the other one. So the other one always get him. Yeah? So that means like he's a sita. He His kung fu is better than his. So sometimes I see him, we check the sit eye. See, go away from the center line on purpose. Just go. See how much he could do. Okay, you go away. Hit him hard. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> okay, do it again. And look, look, south first. And all of a sudden you can go away. Not hard enough. <laughs> okay, so um, now this part you guys understand, right? <laughs> okay. So, see him, Chi Sao Sita, always 
let him occupy the center line. Sometimes press down, some this way, make his hand off center line and uh, play him. But you see him himself got to know all of this, always in, in a good position, always occupy center line, sometimes push a little bit this way, that way, and then do some or go away. Right away for a minute and his hand still there. You know, then you know what to do next and tell him, oh, soon I go this, then you come to me, you know, and teach him how to do. So there is a, a lot of fun to teach uh, Siddha eyes. Sometimes you pay him, let's say, I wanna talk to you, okay? Mm -hmm. So, if I go like this much, you ain't coming. Then I go, this much, you hang coming? Wow, it's very good. I go that much, and he's hang coming, you know. But, the sensitive, he got, I could not afford, go away for a long, long time. That's all. See? I slow motion, what I did. <laughs> Come back here, he still not hit me yet. <laughs> See how long I, I go, look, from here, and uh, here, and make a circle like this big, and come back here, he still not hit me yet. Otherwise, oh, like this, okay, you know. <laughs> but after I make a circle like this big, you think about, if I make a circle smaller, I hit him, he's still like uh, dreaming, right? <laughs> you agree? Yeah. I, I make a circle like this big, come back, and his hand still not come. So I make a small circle like this, the ball, and he still don't know what to do. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. So then it's the train your hand like go, make a big circle. Like, take longer time, go back to the center line. Off the center line, one, two, three. Then go by the center line, you know. So that is telling the difference. Wow, oh, good kung fu guy, bad kung fu guy. See, Ming Chun have a center line. Chen, I mean, train your sensitive. Chen, I mean, uh, train your hand go. I uh, to go for a big circle, come back, and so have a lot of fun by doing chi sao. Okay, this is like talk about off the center line and come back. Okay, so if you have good Kung Fu, you could afford to make a big circle, come back and do some to your uh, Kung Fu brother. Sometimes if I make a circle like this big, can I get him? And uh, next week, I have to make a circle that's smaller. Same, I still could get him. So a few months later, I have to make a circle like very, very small, and get him. And if after a year, I check him again, then have a circle, then he can come in. Wow. Then I, I hardly go away. I, I cannot make any circle to chase away him. Because have a circle, and he coming already. But have a circle is kind of loose. You know? So then I say, wow, you okay. Then I train him with something else. That is the way to train the younger brothers or the teacher student yeah. by making a big circle. That's how you tell how how his kung fu grow up. Uh, you don't have a uh, me, uh, meter, whatever to check him or a computer to check him. How come you know he's getting good and, and uh, very good, very good yeah. because that making big circle, small circle, half circle, and he's coming then. First, I mean, a uh, 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 few minutes ago, I mentioned he had to respect his hand. Because have a circle, his hand come in. You're not going to complete the circle and then do something. No. Have a circle, his hand come in. Then you have to change. So instead of making the circle, you have to, to do something. Yeah? Changing the other technique. Instead of being uh, stubborn and, and have to make complete the circle. Even small one, and, and uh, you can hit whatever. No, don't do that. So have a circle, and he said, coming. It means he have 
he has sensitive, he want to do something, then you have to respect his movement. Then you have to change your hand into something else to do something. His part, you understand? Then also means respect the partner's hand. Not just you want to do, then you do it. Or you cannot do it, still do it. That's not Chi Sao. Because, again, Chi Sao is not the fight to be better than the other. Chi Sao is to discuss how the hand uh, come in, how the hand have a sensitive or not, and respect the partner's hand to, to practice. You do more Chi Sao, you have better sensitive. You can make the circle from big into smaller and smaller and no circle. And you could do something right there and you could do uh, bounce his hand away then do something and you feel this loose you change down here you do something so all the different techniques to check check the partner see how much he could do that's the way to practice your kung fu by doing chi sa any questions about center line when one plays the um, chi sa yeah, it's it's better to not like think of a strategy, but just keep on playing. Like when I play, it, to not think um, I'm gonna go left, I'm gonna go right. Just but feel sensitivity to the uh, other opponent's hands. Then like you're driving a car, never turn. You know, keep going, right? Mm -hmm. And and never turn. Even uh, the dead end, you still go, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer. Okay? So, any more questions? So, I explained uh, before. If you don't have chance to do something, you cannot always lowering hand there. Lowering hand there, it doesn't mean both always occupy have a center line. That's impossible. You hear that part? So, since the impossible must have something happen there, after one, two looks out, you have to do something. I mean, either one have to do something. If you have ten times looks out there, they're telling me that's not true. Or both slow, both stupid. Let's say uh, some uh, loose hand, you still don't know how to do something. You agree this part? Because it's impossible. Keep lowering hands, still occupy half of the center line, up and down, half, always even, always even. Impossible. After one, two, three, you must, either one have to make mistake. Then, that mistake, some technique have to come up. This part, I hope you understand, okay? So, if no question, that is about the center line on Chi Sao. Okay? Thank you. Alright, anybody can get up and um, take a little break, stretch your legs out and all that.